Hello everyone, this short video will show you how to enter your marks and your learning skills into Aspen Markbook. Upon logging into Aspen, the first thing you want to do is click the Markbook top tab and then ensure that the score side tab is selected. Once your Markbook loads, first uh, confirm that these three drop downs are correct. The first one should always read post columns term, the third one should always read grade, but the middle one should always reflect the reporting period that you're reporting on. Um, after you've confirmed that those three drop downs are correct, you can begin to enter your marks in the first column. Because this is a final reporting period, any mark can be used. And if you have a mark that you're using a lot, you can fill that down using options, fill down, and also note that it's control D on your keyboard shortcut. That will fill down the column, and then I can go and change the marks where that doesn't apply. The second column is all about English language learning. Um, so um, I can always, in any cell, use options, look up, or control L as a keyboard shortcut to look up what are the appropriate codes for any cell. Here I see ELD, ESL, or the combination of the two. I can choose that and hit OK, and we can see it automatically puts it into the cell that I have highlighted. If that were true for the entire class, I could fill down that code, but I think I'll just move on to IAPs. Here we can hit control L as a shortcut for lookup. And I can see that only a lowercase x um, can be put in that column where it applies. I can fill down if many of my class are working towards modified expectations, or I can just put it in where it applies and move forward. After that, we have six columns for our learning skills. And if we hit Control L or look up, we can see that a capital E, G, S, and N can go in any of those cells and can be filled down where it applies. Um, so make sure you hit caps locks. And I can put in a capital G here, capital G, caps locks. There we go. And if that were true for most of my students, I could hit Control D to fill it down and then change the ones where it does not apply. Same thing for organization, independent work, collaboration, initiative, and self-regulation.